Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. This is series 13 where we're learning a great deal on surface areas and volumes. Today we're talking about episode number 5 and today we are going to find out surface area of a right circular cone. Now from your earlier grades, you know what is a right circular cone. Typically we draw a right circular cone in this fashion. Right? So we have a circular base and as we go away from the base to the top, the edges they converge. This is the example of a right circular cone. What I have done is I have made this cone upside down. Just to show you that this is also a right circular cone. Simply the cone is put upside down. And here I have rotated this cone 90 degrees to give you a visual idea that they are all examples of a right circular cone. Now let's take any one of them. Let's say we take this one which is put upside down. Now what are the most important measurements of a right circular cone? So the first is the radius of the base circle. So there is a circle at the base, at the bottom of a cone. So what is the radius of this? And in this case, because it is upside down, the circle is at the top. And the top of the cone is at the bottom. So first important measurement that we need to know absolutely for a right circular cone, any right circular cone is, what is the radius of the base circle? What is the second most important dimension that we absolutely must know about a right circular cone. That is the height. From the base to the very top of the cone, how much is the height? If we know these two, we can basically find out everything that we need for a right circular cone. Now when we talk about cones, one other important measure often talked about is this length, which is also called slant height or represented by L. So we have the the radius of the base circle R, we have the height of the cone itself H, and we have the slant height. Now if you think about this Pythagorean, if you, if you think about this triangle, this triangle which is formed by the dotted line and this slant slanting side, you can think about this as a right triangle, right? And applying Pythagoras theorem, we can say this is the hypotenuse. So L square is going to be equal to H square, which is the height, plus R square, which is the base. We know that Pythagorean theorem, Pythagoras theorem states that hypotenuse square is equal to square of sum of other two sides. So hypotenuse square L square is equal to h squared which is the height plus r squared which is the radius of the base circle. So that is why the value for L is derived, it, it depends on value of h and value of r. So if you know only the radius and the height, you can calculate L. So now that we understand all of this, let's find out. So how can we actually calculate the surface area for a right circular cone? So we have a base circle. So the surface area of any circle we know is pi r squared. If the radius is r, so the, the circle has an area of pi r squared. Now we are left with the curved surface area, right? So now the curved surface is highlighted in yellow, right? So what is the area of this curved surface? The area of this curved surface is pi r l. So pi r l which is the slant height or the, the, the length of this, this, this uh, measure. Pi r l slant height where r is the base radius and l is the slant height. So then total surface area is simply going to be equal to the surface area of the circle plus the curved surface area. So which will be nothing but equal to pi r square, which is the surface area of the circle, pi r square. And the curved surface area is pi r l. So if you take pi r common, it will be pi r times r plus l. So this is going to be the formula for total surface area of a right circular cone. 